These are the Rokit glasses, ChatGPT 5 powered smart glasses. They can do what the Meta Ray Bands can, and they have this place. And in this video, I showed you why I really like them and why I can recommend them. They are now up for grabs in the Kickstarter. If you're fast, you can probably still get the $479 tier. Check it out. Anyways, in this video, I want to show you the full unboxing of these. We're going to have a closer look at the hardware and see what you're going to get if you back them. Also, we're going to do a deep dive into the app and have a look how it actually looks like. So absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. I'm so glad to have you back on the channel. My name is Sebastian Ang. If you're excited about glasses like these, absolutely subscribe to this channel here and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. But now let's have a look at the box. This is the Rokit box, the Rokit glasses box, and they've done a great job. It's very elegant, very simple, and I like that. So opening up the box, it's going to reveal the hard case. Here it is. Very nice. Triangle shaped. Probably a magnet is holding this in place. And, you know, I like magnets. We're going to have a look at this in a moment. Then we have something more here. So nose pads, exchange nose pads. Yep. And then here, this is very important. This little thing is the magnetic charging cable. Yes, this is it. So here you're not going to get a charging case. You have to buy this for $99 extra or you pledge now on the Kickstarter and get it for free. So yeah, this is magnetic. You're going to attach it to the temple and I'm going to show you where later. Then we have user manual and something else. That was too fast now. Yeah, safety and security card. <laughs> okay, anyways, let's go to the main event, the hard case and the glasses. So indeed, magnet. Good. Then you open it. Everything very simple and elegant. I like it. And here, simply the Roki glasses. And once you take them out, you're going to see that, wow, these look good. As I told you, eerily remind us of the Meta Ray bands, right? But even more, two waveguide displays. And if you look at the glasses, you could tell there's something going on. Anyways, let's have a look. So here at the temple, at the end of the temple, there you find the magnetic connection for the charging cable. And yes, you can charge it while using it. So there will be some cool like hacks and mods where you can simply use that forever without having to worry about the battery. Yeah, probably you can simply connect some power bank. Yeah, so the whole thing is very light, under 50 grams, super nice. You don't really feel that this has so much technology, but it has. And here you can see the waveguide displays. See my other video for through the lens footage. So that's important to watch the other video as well. So here, this is actually a touchpad. No, here on this side. On this side, there's a touchpad on the right side. And on the left side, there's not really anything other than speakers. So... Yeah, you cannot really tell from outside that there's so much technology in these glasses. Crazy, really, really crazy. So here, here is the 12 megapixel camera, same resolution like the Meta Ray-Bans. And also, if you record a video, there will be some light blinking. Somebody asked me this question, of course, very important. But if you do an audio recording... Nothing will blink. So you can more discreetly do an audio recording if you want. Yeah, then here is the button. Short press picture, long press video. But you can also like set the long press to start the audio recording, for example. Well done, Rokit. Of course, you can also simply say, hi, Rokit, start recording, for example. Start audio recording or start video recording or take a picture. Then we have the loudspeakers on both sides, and they are just as loud as the Meta Ray Band ones. So overall, this is very nice and sexy hardware, in my opinion. Incredible, a technical marvel to have so much technology in this form factor. Yes, this is great. All right, so now you've seen the unboxing, and now let's dive into the app. So this is how the app looks like. Device, I've already 
I connected it obviously it was very simple to connect it and here directly we can change the volume of the glasses and the brightness that makes lots of sense so probably you don't even want the full green power it's it's very in your face but good when you're outside right because when the sun is there you will need the full brightness but inside probably you could dial it back then we have translation teleprompter notification user guide tutorial so Let's go into translation. Talk anywhere. Okay, how to use front sound only. So these glasses have directional microphones. They will they will pick up what somebody in front of you says. And that is obviously really useful. Okay, so that is good to know. Yeah, here we are on the real-time voice translation menu. Translation on glasses. If I click enter... I will go into this mode, but I'm not going to do that now. I want to show you the rest of the yeah of of the app here. So the translation services. Now we have online translation one on one. So for this, I will obviously need internet. But what's cool? They also have local AI translation. So I can could click on download, and then it's going to download the the AI the the language model, right? So then actually on your device without needing internet, you can do translation. And in translation, it really works very nicely. Yeah, then translation settings, broadcast. If I would turn it on, it would then read out the translation to me. So somebody talks with me in Chinese, and it gets translated to English or German. And then if I if I turn the broadcast function on, it will say out the English or the German loud for me if I don't want to read it. Yeah, refine, real-time correction based on semantics. Okay, so it puts it on into context what it hears and then it will refine the translation. So next, font size, adjust the font size inside the glasses. Obviously, you can make it bigger or smaller, just how it's um, good for you. Then the position, you can also adjust the position. Where do you want the translation to be? The subtitles, right? I told you about them. Yeah, very useful. And what's also cool, when you're done with it, you have all the transcripts here, so you can read it later on. So very useful. Then you simply click on enter and in the glasses, you will go into this translation mode. I'm not going to do it now. I just want to show you the app. Yeah, then teleprompter. Teleprompter is also really cool. So here, teleprompter on glasses. If I click enter, I will see the text here in the glasses. And which text am I going to see? Either import text. So I can click on import text. Yeah, and then um, I could find a text on my phone, for example. So any long text, you can simply download it to your phone and then you can um, simply put it in here. Or you can do a new text. And you can simply write your text here and then this text will show as the teleprompter. So, yeah, that is very useful. Also here, font size, obviously, you can change it. And the position of the, of the text that's going to show there. So, very straightforward and it works well. And also, again, like I told you um, in my main video about the glasses, the text will scroll either by you using the touchpad here or... It's going to um, check what you say, and then according to where you are in the text, will automatically scroll. I think that's a fantastic function. So let me click on the settings thing here. Here, smart scroll. Teleprompter content scrolls automatically based on your speech. Yes. So offline, rockets, offline speech recognition, no internet required. Very good that they also put it in, or online. And yeah, then they're going to use the speech recognition with which is online, yes. Okay, device connection. After connecting Bluetooth accessories like rings or control pads, use them to scroll the teleprompter content. Wow, I didn't even know that. 
<laughs> so it seems like you can have these Bluetooth accessories where you can scroll. You can also simply use them. Or oh, that that makes so much sense. So probably you have some ring or something. Yeah, and I know these little Bluetooth um, remotes that you can buy for TikTok and YouTube to scroll. So cool. You can use it here as well. So yeah, I didn't know before I made this video. Good that I made this video. Yeah, so there were the teleprompter settings. Very cool. Um, let's again go to the translation, see if I missed some settings there. Yeah, okay, first of all, I didn't show you for the translation the languages. Yeah, so here are the languages that you can translate from and to. So it's 89 languages, and wow, they really got so many languages here. So you should be able to find yours. And then to the glasses, also, you have the same languages that you can translate to. So yeah, this is really, really a super useful feature. Nice. All right. So simple. Then, um, yeah, let's have a look at... So that's that's now the device um, menu. Let's go to album. And here, here you see my baby. <laughs> yeah. And that is very good. You click on sync here on the top right. No media to sync. Actually, it should say no media to sync because everything is already synced. Yeah, right. Anyways, um, this works really well. So no problem. When you sync it, the videos and pictures are going to go into the gallery. And then, yeah, you can have a look at what you filmed here. So this gallery, but there's also recording. Like I told you that this has the um, audio recording function, which is super useful. So you can also record audio here with that. Yeah, that's that's basically for album. Let's click on AI Assistant. So all the questions that you asked here, yeah, they're also available here as a as text. So if you want to recheck the answer, not just on your glasses, but also on your phone, you can do it. Very useful. Let's check out here the settings. AI Assistant, so voice activation. Of course, you would say Hi, Rokit. Yeah, now it activates, so it really works very well. And then the AI Assistant will, will start with a wake word. And okay. Hi, Rocket. Stop. <laughs> Let me just turn this off now so that this won't fire. And here's continuous conversation. So with that function, you can simply have a conversation with the AI without having to say hi, Rocket, before every sentence. Very good. So the base model, ChatGPT, they also have some other one, Gwen or something. Don't know what this is, but this is ChatGPT. Vision model when you take pictures or videos is also ChatGPT. Well, you could choose it, but obviously you'd, you're going to use ChatGPT. And web search is Nano AI. No idea what this is. Yeah, you can um, change the sound mode. More balanced curve, loud for noise environments. That's what I use. Podcast optimized for voice podcasts. You can choose the glasses name. Okay, I didn't choose anyone here. Yeah, serial number, blah, blah. Screen off. So you can make it that it's always on if you want. Auto power off settings, blah, blah, blah. Developer. You can do the ADB debugging if you want. Factory reset and so on and so forth. Then for photos and videos, you can choose the aspect ratio, which I like. And yeah, and the video recording duration. One, three, and ten minutes. Yeah, if you want, you can have a watermark, but yeah, obviously you don't want to have the recorded on Roku glasses watermark. Watermark, watermark. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that's that. And what's in me? Account management, app information, issues and suggestions. 
Yeah, so that should be it, I believe. That should be it. Okay. So it's a very straightforward app and it does what it's supposed to do. All right, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the Roka glasses and the deep dive into the app. Hope that could be helpful for you. So again, I like these glasses and well, check out the Kickstarter. The link is down in the description of this video. Probably if you watch this video, the first 2000 headsets will already be sold. Right now it's like 1,500 have been sold. But if you can still do it in the first 2,000, you're going to get this for $479. And in my opinion, this is a fantastic price. The street price is going to be $599 later. Also, if you are pledging before they've reached $1 million, I think now it's like around $800,000, you are going to get the $99 um, charging case for free. So if you're watching watching this here early, probably you're still under the first uh, before they reach the 1 million. Yeah, so simply check it out. And again, I can recommend them. I like them. And this is not a sponsored video. I'm not even earning any kickbacks. It is truly a great headset that I can recommend to you. And that's it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And do let me know down in the comment section. What are your thoughts about the rookie glasses is that something that you would like to pick up do let me know down in the comment section that's everything that i have for this video if you have not yet subscribed to this channel absolutely do that now because well lots of more glasses videos to come obviously also again vr headset videos so yeah we're going to get back now into making videos i'm looking forward to this and i'm looking forward to see you in the next one until then bye bye this here is a baby and when you want to work and make a video about the rookie glasses they love to cry so you have to hold them so that they stop to cry this is how it works just to let you know